Okay, so here it is at the layout. Oh, let's have a look. I've just got a small little ruler here. Oh, yeah, 15, 16, 17, 18 and a half centimetres long. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's have a look. Like I said, I've only just received this. So, I'm going to have to... Okay, I'm going to have to take it out of there. Okay, this is actually the second time I've got it out of the parcel. Um, what happened the first time is it had a little bit of trouble getting around one of the corners. And it was because of these. When it went to the left, it actually stopped. When it went to the right, it was okay. Um, so by moving it backwards and forwards, you just wear it in just a little, just enough for the, the metals to touch. So there must be like a bit of paint or something. But hey, that happens. So you got this plastic which was around it so now what we'll do as it's a big loco I am going to pop this down onto the track now put this down like that I guess it is actually pretty loud with the first engine The second engine. Alright, grab my, my controller. I've got an NCE controller. Okay. Let's see what this thing's got. We've got a horn. We've got a little horn. We've got the bell. Okay, we've got the headlight. Now with the headlight, I read the instructions. It actually said that if you press, I think it was 7? Yeah, it dims down. If you press 7 again, it lights up again. If you press number 5, get this flashing strobe beacon on the top. There it is on the top there. If you press 6, you get headlight boards. So, pretty cool, because you can actually control everything separately. Okay, now, the one thing I found, is when you start it, if you put it up onto much one, it starts moving before the engine revs. Now I'm going to see if there's a way to change one of the CVs so it revs up before it moves. It's also got a mute function. When you press it, it dies down. So it goes real quiet. But, yes, not a bad little buy. Uh, like I said, it's extremely long, but, yes, runs nicely.